going on YouTube prepared wanderer in the woods today back in the woods it has been a while but I am back and uh, today <clears throat> is gonna be a pretty cool video because I've got a couple things that I want to show you from one of my all-time favorite gear makers the hidden woodsman and at the end of the video there's gonna be details on how to get in on a very cool giveaway uh, you don't want to miss that so stick around for the entire video see what I got to say about this pack let me show you some features and then stick around for that giveaway at the end because it is going to be a good one so let's get into it all right so <clears throat> been a while since I've been back in the woods and this is my usual spot that I go to to do a lot of my filming and uh, I'm so happy to be back and starting to do this again it has been it's just been a crazy year a lot of going on and uh, I'm finally back doing what I love which is being out in the woods shooting video for you guys and sharing stuff that I, I get access to so what we're gonna look at today is <clears throat> a phenomenal product from uh, Malcolm at the Hooden Woodsman and if you guys are not familiar with his website and his gear you need to check it out it is by far some of the most phenomenal made in the USA small batch made by one guy uh, packs and in gear and pouches and just really cool stuff and it's all uh, you know just phenomenally built <clears throat> and this pack is no exception and what we're gonna look at today this is the Dayruck EDC now it's been a while since Malcolm has had an EDC size pack most of his packs lately have been bigger uh, you know one to two to three day packs uh, more what I would call overnight packs this is really the first day pack um, but this thing could be pressed into an emergency overnight or no problem. It is well suited for woods use or for EDC, hence the name Dayruck EDC. So we've got the black one here with a condor pouch that I put on the front uh, just to show you how this, this uh, modularity of the front panel works. And then of course we've got the very popular multi-cam um, beautifully made packs so let's look at features all right so I'm gonna go through the features using the multicam pack <clears throat> packs are identical as far as features no differences there's just different color choices I think there's also a ranger green available um, and maybe another camo I can't uh, quite remember but uh, this is what I was uh, given to by Malcolm uh, he donated one of the packs and I bought one of the packs so one of these I own one of them I'm giving away which one am I going to give away well we're going to find out so features um, <clears throat> 500D Cordura which uh, in my opinion is really the way to go on a lot of tactical nylon it's ever bit as good as 1000D I've never had any issues with 500D it's highly water resistant um, it's a very tough material um, and this is no exception uh, Molly on the front and of course with the multicam he has color matching webbing which is pretty cool nice feature big velcro panel also camo matched nice um, elastic pouches on the side here I've got my SE knife in there and what I love about these uh, pouches are it will actually fit a canteen with a canteen cup <clears throat> and that is like one of the biggest things that I find in packs that I have bought in the past you know the pack will have all the features I want I get it it doesn't fit my canteen cup and that's a problem because this is the this is my go-to when I'm in the woods I want to have a canteen and a cook set this will also fit a Nalgene with a nesting cup either one but that's really important when you're especially out here doing bushcraft type stuff you want to be able to have that cook kit with you and you don't want to have to take extra space in your pack and this elastic uh, really allows 
for solid retention um, of your canteen set and mine fits in here nicely so no problems getting it in it's a little tight because the this uh, webbing or this material and elastic is still kind of stiff definitely need to get out more and use it and that's going to loosen up with time a little bit so that's a bonus um, nice grab handle up top reinforced with this webbing here Moving around to the back, nicely padded shoulder straps, matching webbing. The sternum strap, which is also a great feature, is adjustable. So depending on your torso length, you can move this up and down. Really important. Um, plenty of room for my size. I'm six foot one and about 250, and this fits me just fine. I have plenty of room in the shoulder straps. I don't feel restricted when I was hiking in with it. It's not, uh, you know, it's not really tight on me. So room for adjustment, which is good. Other nice feature on this pack is there's a little bit of channeling here in the back that'll help with a little bit of cooling. Um, nothing too too crazy, but it is there and it is padded. There is a good size pad and there's there's probably From feeling it there's probably an eighth to a quarter inch piece of foam in the back of this thing. So That's nice now uh, the other thing that is really nice on this is that there actually is webbing on the bottom so if you do want to put a bed roll or uh a sit pad or something blanket whatever a jacket you can do that with this um, a lot of day packs don't have that feature so that, that's a nice bonus zipper front pocket lined in super bright hunter safety orange I love that feature I can see my contents when I'm getting into the bag the front pocket here I've got my fold up stove and I got my hidden woodsman signal panel which um, I really don't use for signaling but it, it's there just in case but I use this primarily to put on the ground when I'm doing fire prep I'll put all my wood on top of it keeps my, my stuff dry so flat items small items going here not excessive organization there's not a bunch of pen slots and other stuff that i don't need i don't want that crap i hate that stuff in packs it gets in the way it adds weight um, it's usually cheap uh, don't need it this doesn't have it zippers on this pack are awesome they open up so easily they glide they don't bind um, I'm, I, I'm assuming they're uh, YKK. They're very heavy duty. Love them. Inside, once again, we've got Deglo Orange. And there is a pocket back here that you could put more stuff. Um, you know, a jacket, uh, a notepad, uh, maybe if you're carrying a small laptop or iPad, something like that will fit in there. Another nice feature, we got a mesh pocket on the inside right here, up here for your small items. Very cool. So what do I got in my pack? <clears throat> Quite a bit. Um, my Shemag, rubber bowl, Baco saw. Got two pouches from another buddy of mine over at Tough Possum Gear. We've got fire making supplies in here, ferro rod, fat wood, some 550 cord, just all that good stuff. In this pouch, I've got food. And my spork to my heavy cover set and the lid. So that all goes in there. Still tons of room small tarp with stakes and guy lines ready to go SOL bivy bag nice emergency item to have still tons of room I don't have everything in here that I normally would carry there's uh, I still have room for my first aid kit more food a jacket uh, more water if I want to put a bladder in here 
Um, there's just there's additional room. There's plenty of space, and as you can see, there's that beautiful orange lining, which I love, 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 love that. <clears throat> really well, really well done. Now this pack doesn't open all the way. It doesn't fillet out. Um, it's kind of a three-quarter open, which is plenty. This is you know as you can see, this stays open nicely, and you can get into the contents. So that is the Dayruck EDC. All right, so overall impressions, it is a fabulous backpack for the size um, and for the cost. Price, about $145, I believe, on the website. Uh, that doesn't include shipping. Um, and it, but that's all colors. I don't think there's any upcharge for the multi-cam, which um, a lot of companies would do. So check that out. Um, but the, the cool thing about this bag is, <clears throat> and I've stated this before, it's very simple. <clears throat> it's not overly done. It doesn't have a ton of organization and pockets. So what that makes it, makes it much easier to customize it for your loadout. You want to go EDC and take this to the office every day, you have the capability. On the weekends, strip out some pouches, add some different stuff into it. Now you got a day pack to go a hike on a hike with. And it's going to hold up. It's not some cheap nylon bag that's going to wear out after a year's hard use of carrying it back and forth um, from your vehicle to home to the woods. It's 500D Cordura. Um, rot proof stitching. I mean, highly water resistant. You, it, for 145 bucks, you're getting an heirloom piece. This thing's gonna probably outlast you. You're probably handing it down to somebody unless you're really abusive with your gear. Um, and I'm not. I try to take care of my stuff as much as possible. Um, but this thing can be thrown around. I've been EDCing the black one for. Uh, it's been well over a month, maybe more, maybe a couple months now, just to get a feel for it and. Uh, it's done fantastic. And then the camo bag I've had out a few times in the woods is to carry my day, my day kit. Um, but I plan to use that even more. So, the contest. Well, what do you think I'm going to give you if you enter this contest? Which pack do you want? It's been a tough decision. Um, I got both bags in, like I said, and I used one for a while, and then I started using the other one. I was like, eh didn't know quite know what to do but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys the black one and along with the black one you are going to get the condor pouch that I added a prepared wanderer patch already on it you're ready to go um, like I said I've used it but it is it's like brand new so um, I'm thinking maybe the black will be a little bit more versatile for someone. So in case they do want to use it for EDC or urban, more of a gray man kind of look, and you don't want to stand out with the camo, this might be the way to go. So this might be appeal to more people if I give away the black one, whereas the camo is a little, it's kind of narrow. You know, some people don't like camo, but black goes with everything. It's tactical, but it's also cool and will fit in with normal gear. This People do not give me a second look when I carry this pack. So. How are you going to enter? What I want you to do is, I would like you to go down below and comment in the comment section, I am in. Now, um, I'm going to draw for a winner in maybe, let's say, two weeks. So not very much time. <clears throat> Get your comments down below. Hit that like button. Hit that bell icon. Make sure that you're getting updates when new videos are coming out. If you would do me a favor, go to Instagram and follow me there, link down below. Go to Facebook if you're on there and get on the Facebook group. Those things help me out. I enjoy having people see my content. It's a big kick for me and I share a lot of extra stuff on those two pieces of social media. So put your comments down below that you're in then I will do a random draw of all the, of all the uh, entries and then there has to be a way for me to contact you so it's a little tricky with YouTube um, but I will try to figure out a way to reach out to you the winner and or you can reach out to me through email um, 
there's ways of hunting me down and then we'll get connected. I've done uh, giveaways on YouTube before and not had a problem getting a hold of someone. So we should be able to do it. Um, please check out the Hidden Woodsman and his website. Fantastic products, pouches, uh, backpacks, bedroll straps, uh, haversacks, one of the best haversacks on the market. The original haversack in my opinion that really beats out everybody else and everybody seems to be copying i've seen copies of it before so he's an innovator malcolm is an innovator and he is a great uh small business person that i love to support with my hard-earned dollars and he supports this channel by donating stuff to give away to you guys so do us both a favor and like subscribe share follow thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the prepared wanderer